how hard has it been in your relationship knowing that you got caught cheating from that moment that you got caught cheating to now? How hard has it been with knowing? Nagging, it? nagging, constant nagging, saying, oh, you doing this, you going to the mailbox. Like it's a girl in the mailbox. I'm constantly nagging like, because I'm insecure. Yeah. No. So, so you made me this way. So my point is, if you could go back in time and not sleep with that girl, would you? I wouldn't do it, because it's hell now. Like, <laughs> That's it's, it's, hell. Been, it's been hell like the last, yeah. since the 2016. So are you happy? I mean, not really, no, not with this nagging and stuff, and her trying to paint me to be a monster. Like, yeah, like, I just drag on her. Why do you stick around? I stick around because I want my family to work. If she fell, like, I don't know, I might have to go my way. I might have to go here. I, I'd rather live. I want to live. I don't want to uh, die from stress uh, well, every day I get up. <laughs> OK, OK. Now, he has a little bit of a point, right? I mean, you know, you cheat, it's wrong. But if you decide to stay, it's, it's hard yeah. to have a successful relationship if you're going to keep beating him up for his past, right? <laughs> right, OK. As my wife just clearly pointed out, as long as it was only one time. <laughs> because according to my wife, it's more than one time that you're done. Or is he done? You're done. Mm -hmm. OK. And you know what? And I don't want to be too jokey, because I can see the pain in your eyes. Because you really love this man, right? And you want it to work. All I'm saying is, if he passes, you got to let the past go and think about the future and raising your daughter. You got to think about positive things, right? OK, let's hope for the best. <laughs> Tangie's up first, and we asked her, during your seven-year relationship with Keon, have you had any sexual physical contact with any other males? She answered, no. During your seven-year relationship with Keon, have you had sexual intercourse with any other males? She answered no. The results came back the same to each question, and it came back that Tangie told the truth. You know, on cheating stories, I don't usually get too emotionally involved, but I really like her, and I feel, I see so much pain in her. I really hope you pass. I hope I do, too. <laughs> <laughs> took a lot of tuck to test, and we asked him, besides the one female Tangie knows about, during your seven-year relationship, have you had any sexual physical contact with other females? You answered no. Besides the one female Tangie knows about during your seven year relationship, have you had any other sexual intercourse with any other females? You answered no. The results came back the same to each question, and they came back that Keon did not tell the truth. <laughs> Like, oh, crazy. Like, you trying to put on the show? Get out of here with all that. What do you, what do you want to say to Tangie? I mean, I ain't mean for this to happen for real, but no, no, but did you told me you did not. Well, it's I mean, wild. you knew, you knew some of the well, things when I was no, talking to people. No, I don't want, I want to hear that. You, you knew, said you though. did not do nothing. So you ain't know that. You ain't know I was talking about I'm not supposed to know, but I'm supposed to trust you, right? All right, but you knew the rest, though. I don't want to hear that. If I was cheating on you, you would have been a problem. You already knew the you other You always got excuses. You already knew the other you possibility, got excuses. though. I'm telling you now, we, what, what do you want to do, then? Like, you know that, that you got a lot of touch, what you want. It, it's your I'm confirmation done. for all I'm that. Done. That's I'm what done. you You can go ahead and treat the prostitution. <laughs>
I'm not gonna be sitting here begging either. Like, no. Like, I want my family to work, no, but I'm not gonna, no. I'm not getting on my knees and all no, that make stuff. Make your family no. work with somebody else. I'm not doing all that. I ain't know what, like. And I'll just say this, and I'm not trying to break you up. No, do what you got. I mean, you, that's what you want to do. All I'm saying is if, if you don't draw a line in the sand, you know, and you do, and it just keeps, you know, stepping on over it, what's gonna stop it? And if this causes you pain, him cheating on you, <laughs> it's just a matter of time before it happens again. Yeah. And, and listen, I'm not a psychologist, I'm not Dr. Phil or anything like that. <clears throat> but when I hear him saying, oh, she nags, she nags, she nags, it, it just seems like he wants to be driven away. Hey, okay. hey, hey, Steve, let me just say that she even tell me herself she gonna get another guy, he gonna be eating a sandwich in my bed and all kind of stuff, <laughs> right? She tell me that out of her own mouth. She like, yeah, he gonna be in well, there. Well, who's he gonna, gonna turn down a door. sandwich? I mean, <laughs> I got a sandwich on the couch, I mean, okay. I'm all serious now. I know you want to be with him. And I have a feeling that when this show's over, you're going to go home and you'll be with him tomorrow. And, and because I know how much you love him. I can see it in your eyes. I can see how he has the power to hurt you and it caused you a lot of hurt, but you don't want it to end. Like you say, seven years is a long time. But if it's a relationship. No, hold up, Steve. He hurt me. I, I gotta say, I, I love him enough to let him go. Good luck, dude. I hope that's good.